Hi Quillers, so today is the 4th of November and I am not currently in my room back in New York. I am in York, England in a cemetery. If you're wondering, I'm here doing research for a novel and I thought that while I was here, I would take the opportunity to talk to you about character deaths in fiction. Now depending on what format you write and how long the piece of work is, there is a good chance that death will have some significance in your writing. Particularly when it comes to novels, those that we read and write, there is a good chance that someone close to the protagonist, or perhaps even the protagonist themselves, will die during the story. Now of course there are those books where no one dies and everyone lives happily ever after, but I'm a little bit more cynical on the subject, so let's face it, during the story, someone's gonna kick it. There's a good chance that you've read a book where a character you've known and loved has died and has impacted you in a strong and moving way. Character deaths can hit home our own mortality and sentimentality and a well-written one can be both sour and sweet. But an author has to make sure that when they kill their character, they don't leave a bitter taste in the reader's mouth. Because while, of course, it is plausible for characters that we love and nice characters and good characters to die and not everyone lives happily ever after, if a reader feels like an author is just killing a character off for shock value or because they've reached a lull in their story, then that will more often than not tick off the reader and turn them off the author entirely. Of course, not everyone's going to agree on what makes a good character death and what makes a senseless or badly written one. For instance, when I read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, I thought the death was brilliant, even though I had fallen in love with the character during that novel. A death in the final installment of the Hunger Games trilogy had some readers in an uproar. Whereas when I read it, I thought it was gut-wrenching and made an impact, but was beautifully written and did serve a purpose towards the story. However, each reader has their own taboo characters that they do not want to see killed, and if it had been someone else, I may have been in the exact same situation as these other upset readers. Of course, I do think there is a situation where authors struggle with establishing conflict and turn to the easy route of killing off characters to create shock value and an emotional impact on the protagonist and the readers. This can be irksome and is what I call using a character as an emotional weapon against the reader, where you specifically allow the reader to become severely attached to a character only to kill them off in a way that seems unsatisfactory and sloppy. Yet as I mentioned previously, each reader has their own idea of which characters are taboo to kill. So I ask you, to what extent can readers hold authors accountable for the deaths they choose to write and the way in which they execute them?